Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you enjoy this natural hair braid up video. My hair's already stretched. I've been wearing it in a bun for about a week now, and it's time to switch it up. So, first, I'm gonna section off my hair in half. I'm gonna break the other half into another half. And I'm gonna clip that first section away. And I'm gonna work with that section back there. I'm gonna spray it down with some water because my hair doesn't need to be detangled a little bit because it's been up for a week. I'm gonna use some water. Then I'm gonna use this Hawaiian Silk 14 in 1 spray. It's supposed to moisturize, detangle, reduce frizz, and all this other stuff. I just use it to detangle. Now I'm gonna. Oh, forgot my clips. I'm gonna part it and get a section to work with. It's about a medium sized section. I'm gonna do about four plaits for each section. Now I'm using the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. This is my first time like using the product before I just use it to like moisturize my hair but now I'm actually using it to like define my curls so I'll see how it works. I'm also gonna use the Proclaim Shea Butter. It's really thick so you have to like massage it really good but in your palms. I'm gonna put that on top of my enhancing smoothie. Cool them out a little bit and now I'm gonna start braiding. I don't really have a technique to braiding. I don't really know how to teach how to braid. So I'm just gonna speed it up. And then I twirl my ends. I finger coil it just so that my ends will have a nice curl to it instead of being like frizzy. And then salt in the second one. I just repeat the process, get the smoothie, get the shea butter, work that in my hair, detangle, and then I start to braid again. And twirl. Also, my hair is colored, in case you were wondering. I dyed it about, I don't know, a month ago? But I had another color in before that. It was like a uh, dirty brown, kind of. But I dyed it intense red and soft auburn. So my roots are like a burgundy maroon color. And then my ends are like a, a brownish orange, kind of. It looks more orangey in the sun. And it looks more brown, like, on camera. So I'm just going through and finishing this section up. Sorry, I'm always listening to music, so I'm always like nodding my head or something. Okay, now my first section is complete. I have four braids and now I'm on to the second. I'm gonna start by detangling, spraying some water. Applying the Hawaiian silk. Sorry, I had a moment. My parts are usually never straight. I find it easier to hide my parts if they aren't so defined when I'm separating my hair. So I focus more on size than the perfection of the line. I know they say you aren't supposed to share strands when you braid your hair, but my sections are never even so I always find myself having to share it when I get toward the bottom. And it doesn't really affect my takedown. I think it makes it easier to actually separate my hair because the ends are already separated into different pieces so starting at the ends is just easier to separate but that's just, that's just my opinion. I don't see an issue with sharing toward the end.
Gonna finish this off and show you a quick glance from the back and I'll be back with the rest. Okay, so now I'm back. All my braids in my hair. I'm gonna turn around and show you. I have a total of 16 plaits. And then that one braid wouldn't, I don't know, it wouldn't cooperate. So I'm pinning my hair back so that it'll stay stretched. Cause if I don't, then I'll wake up with like my braids cocked off in like different directions. So I'm just pinning it up in the back. I'll turn on and show you that in a second. And now it's time to slick down the edges. I used the Eco Styler Gel and a toothbrush. I'm not really picky about my edges, I just want them to lay down. But like, my edges never really stay laying down. That's why I don't put much effort into it, because they just don't, I don't know, my edges don't, they just don't be wanting to lay down. And I also put a headband around it, because it kind of helps them lay better. And then I tie it with my satin head tie. Good night. All right, now it's time to take this down, untie this scarf, take off this headband. Now my edges are just laid, not slayed. I'm gonna use a Jamaican black castor oil plate. Gotta take my clips out. All right. There we go. I'm gonna coat my hands to reduce the frizz and my glasses fell. So typical. Alright, there we go. I'm just gonna start unbraiding. My hair looks like the crinkly cut french fries. <laughs> just gonna keep going through. I always try to do the hold the two ends and pull it apart, but it never works out for my hair. But that's probably because I share the strands, but oh well. And there we go. One more in this section. And there I go, bopping my head. Always listening to music. Alright, now moving on to the second section. I'm just gonna continue going through and taking my braids out. My hair feels really soft right now. Now I'm almost done with this first section. Here you go. Now I'll be back to show you the finishing part. And I'm back with my braids all out. Looking like a head full of crinkly cut french fries. And I'll show you some pictures. Now it's time to separate my curls. There's no really, not really a technique or anything. I just put the oil on my hands and I separate them where they naturally separate. I separate a lot easier and I think that's because I share my braids. Or maybe my hair just splits easily, who knows. But I'm just here separating. Almost done with this half. And you can see the difference between the two sides. And I'm gonna finish up and come back and show you the finished product. Alright, here's my hair all separated. But you know I gotta go through and fluff it out a little bit. Mm -hmm. I wasn't feeling the front, how it was falling in my face, so I decided to pin it back. So I'm just gonna keep on fluffing. Till I'm satisfied. Think I got it. Yes. I'll insert some pictures at the end so you get a better look at it. Thanks for watching. Bye guys. Oh yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.